Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and I've just read something that might be the very first indicator of another financial crisis. For those of you who don't remember, back in 2007, we had a pretty big major yeah, world recession. What was happening was that banks were making loans to, to what they called ninjas, people who had no income, no assets, no job. If you use that as alliteration, you get the ninja. So what they did is they made a whole bunch of these ninja jobs, and then someone at like these banks like Goldman Sachs, Lehman Brothers, all of these, they were like, we've got a great idea. What we'll do is we'll take these loans and we'll do a little bit of chippity chopping and we'll repackage them and sell them off at triple A you know, securities to pension funds and all these other institutional investors. And it was pretty successful. You know, people bought it, they got more money, they lent it to more ninjas, they took more money, they did more chippity chopping, they kept selling it. And this went back and forth, back and forth until, you know, the bubble burst because none of the ninjas actually repaid the loans, which means the institutional investors didn't get any money back. And the whole house of cards came crumbling down. We have a credit crunch and the world went into recession. And it wasn't a very pleasant experience for humanity. But what the American government did is they stepped in and they were like, listen here, we're going to buy all these toxic loans. You know, these loans that aren't paying back any money. We're going to come buy them. We're going to do like a little injection of cash and we're going to try and save the economy. And in a sense, I mean, the economy continued to working. We didn't go into complete anarchy. So they kind of did a good job. They saved us from, from you know, something terrible that could have happened. But now fast forward 10 years into 2017 and I read an article that Goldman Sachs has got this business plan. Someone there is like, guys, I've got a brilliant idea. What we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to buy those toxic loans. We're going to go buy, buy the loans that caused the chaos. And we're going to do a little bit of chippity chopping and we're going to repackage them and we're going to sell them back to institutional investors. And I'm reading this and I'm like, wait, you want to go and buy the toxic assets and this is what they're saying. They're going to take them, they're going to restructure them. They're going to close up on some of the mortgages that weren't paid, or they're going to restructure, or they're going to extend it, or they're going to do all their little financial wizardry. And then they're going to resell these loans back into the market. So these toxic assets, which caused the 27, uh, 2007 crisis, are now getting purchased and restructured and being sent back into the market. And I don't know about you, but that sounds a little bit cra uh, crazy. And it's one of those things where greed goes too far, where, where we allow our greed to come up with these really crazy and creative uh, instruments that could potentially you know, end the financial world. Now, I know I'm being a little bit dramatic. Uh, and for any of, the, of you who are interested in what I mean by the chippy chopping of financial instruments, I did make a YouTube video called How to Turn Your Friends' Loans into AAA uh, Securities. Um, it wasn't a very popular video, and um, which is probably a good thing, seeing that I think doing that is illegal um, unless the government gives you permission to do so. But I will put a link in the description below, although you probably yeah, shouldn't watch it because it is illegal. But that's for all of you who want to know what that chippy chopping is, is all about. But the main part of the story is that these toxic assets that cause the world uh, crisis, the world financial crisis, are being reintroduced into our market. And yeah, I think that's pretty crazy and something that we need to keep an eye on because we don't want this to go out of control. But anyway, that's just a little quick update of some crazy stories I've been seeing on the internet. I'll let you know if I find anything else. But anyway, uh, also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.